would have thought that a fix to prevent these types of garden beds from bowing out could sometimes cause them to cave inwards. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video I'm going to explain why the guts of these beds are getting sucked in, a bit like me at the beach with my shirt off, and also I'm going to show you how to stop it from happening in the first place. Let's get into it. <laughs> Now some of you with a keen eye would know that I covered this in my last video on what happens to wood chip in the base of a raised garden bed. But after that video I received feedback from you via comments and emails saying that Mark I liked that information but I, I thought it should have been a separate video because I wasn't expecting that to be in the wood chip video but it was a good bonus and secondly I'd like more information on it so I thought about it I listened and I decided that well okay why not just do a dedicated video on the subject of the beds caving in so that if people wanted to search for it they could find the video easy and all that information was just in one spot so here it is a portion of the content here is repeated, but I am going to include some other information that I think you will find new and interesting. So let me take you back to these beds here that were featured in the last video to explain and demonstrate the caving in issue and what we can do about it. And then we'll go back over to that first bed that I was showing you where I'm actually harvesting some onions to discuss the longer term results and several lessons that I've learnt through doing this. Traditionally, these braces are so the bed doesn't bow out under pressure from the soil inside. But strangely, we have an issue whereby the braces are starting to pull the bed inwards and collapse the sides in. Now this is not a fault of the manufacturer Birdie's garden beds or poor design or nothing like that. Because nowadays we do save money by using various fills like logs, wood chip and all sorts of other organic matter in the base of the bed and also increase the soil quality in the bed overall by allowing a good home for microbes, small animals like worms, fungi. As a consequence of that, when that organic matter below the soil decays and rots and gets converted, if it sinks too fast, what it can do is it can pull the soil down too quickly and it puts pressure on these bars or these braces and it can pull the braces down with the soil and then that can pull the size of the bed in. From this side view here you can clearly see how this garden bed is getting pulled inwards. See the kink right here? It's kinking in and bowing inwards. Look at in comparison to this bed here. The sides are just normal. It's not getting pulled in, but I've already fixed it. What I did was I dug two channels where the braces were and I then pretty much dug them out and bent them back up, popped the sides out refilled with soil pretty simple fix in the future i won't have to do that again if anything you might get a slight bowing out as the bed gets heavier and the soil structure gets more solid for want of a better word and you might get a bit of a bowing out effect then which is quite normal so i've already dug out this side and now we've got to dig out the other side here you got the top one that's the main one that gets pulled down because that's the heavy soil that gets put on top Underneath there, the second run is still getting pulled down a bit because some of that topsoil is pushing on that second row. And then the final row pretty much only had wood chip and mulch in the base. So that wood chip and mulch can go through that without too much problem or pressure. All right, let's start digging this one out and then I'll show you how we can pop the sides out once we've dug down and got to that first brace. Thank you. 
Here's the first one. Let's pop him back up. There we go. Now let's get the second one. Now what I can do is I can just reach in here and pull that second brace upwards. There we go, that should do it. Now, if you are doing this from the beginning, you know you've got a very soft type of mulch. It could be banana plants that break down really quick or palm leaves or fronds that break down really fast in the base of the bed. And you know the soil on top is going to speed drop on you and pull those braces down if you've got braces in your bed. Well, what you can do is you could put a maybe a log or something underneath the bottom brace. You could also get a bit of 4B2, some good old hardwood or even a softwood that you know will break down maybe three or four years and not directly straight away. Something that hasn't been treated of course and you could drill holes through that at those different levels and then put your brace through that as you're assembling the bed and that could be a fix to help them in place right in the center there to stop that braces from pulling inwards as your bed's dropping fast if you're using that type of soft hugel culture effect for the base and fill of your garden beds. See how now that will bow back out once that saw comes in, that'll bow back out. Same with here. And you'll get that little kind of oval shape, which is natural. And as you can see, that's pretty much fixed up. Once I get that extra fill in here, that's gonna come out a bit more and that bed is no longer gonna be pulling inwards like a crushed can. Having said all that about fixing the caving in issue, I wanted to show you this bed here that was fixed not just the other day like them, but six months ago, fixed in exactly the same way being dug out. Just like the other beds behind me, I didn't use a piece of 4B2 to reinforce the braces across. I simply dug down and popped them back out and then refilled the bed with more soil and compost and replanted with these allium family plants or onion crops. As you can see in just six months, the soil has sunk by about six inches in most places. That's like about an inch a month. And the sides are slightly pulling in again. Obviously the mulch that was in this bed had still more to fall and the same thing has happened again. The good news is that the pulling inwards isn't as bad this time and as the bed fills with heavier medium the pressure inside will eventually be great enough to push the sides outwards and even everything out to a point when the bed will no longer ever be able to collapse in on itself simply because there'll be plenty of fill and weight in here to even out that force. Until that happens and once I've finished with these current crops I will dig these braces back out again, pop them back up and keep filling until she's all good. Well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure you give it a big sucked guts in thumbs up and share the video around because that helps my channel out heaps subscribe if you haven't already thanks a lot for watching bye for now cheers